Hey, look at that. A screen. A screen with a picture of a map on it. What's going on, guys? How's everybody doing? I hope you're all doing good. I hope you're excited. I don't expect you guys to be excited about the crew anymore, though, to be honest. We played so much of it, and I still think it's a great game, but it's nowhere as good as it was supposed to be. So here's to hoping... <laughs> Excuse me, here's to hoping the crew, too, will be better. Excuse me, sorry for yawning. Tonight is another qualifier wild run Wednesday mayhem. Our qualifier is over here in the East Coast in New York. As you can see, I'm already here. I don't know why I'm already here, but I'm already here. And our qualifier is right there. Oh, we'll fast travel down here. And we'll do some stunts. And we'll get our access pass. Although you'd think by now I'd have my access pass to every single event that comes up. Because I've spent so much fucking time in this game. But it's okay. I don't mind working for it. So we left off at the perf hot rod, huh? Interesting. I wonder what we were doing. I don't drive this thing all that often. Ah, you know what it probably was? It was probably, oh shit, it was probably a crate run. We probably did a crate run. The last vehicle I used was this. The first three stunts have been pretty simple. <sighs> I can't wait for the crew two to come out, man. I'm excited as shit, and I really hope it's way better than its predecessor. It looks like it's gonna be pretty good, but as we've learned many and many times, looks aren't everything. I bet you I could get the game and I could absolutely fucking hate it. You never know. But with it being crew as long as it follows some of the similar formulas that this one does, I think we'll be alright. Now, as soon as the open beta starts and all that jazz, even though I was supposed to be part of the fucking closed beta Ubisoft, um... I will be broadcasting that on our Wild Run Wednesdays instead. We'll be having fun with that. New York streets are confusing.
God damn it. Canvas, you're better than this. I hate motorcycles. Oh man. I turned around and drive on the wrong side of the road. Oh well. Bike will be able to do it. All right, access pass earned. It's also exciting that uh, with the crew too, looks like it's gonna add some very unique vehicles. Now I'm assuming they're gonna have upgrades to them, just like every other vehicle class. But we got boats and planes. As you know, you have your street spec, dirt, perf, raid, circuit of your standard automotives. So what are they going to do with the boats and planes? Like, are they going to start with a generic boat? And then bump it up to, like, a sports class? And then from the sports class, bump it up into the higher class, and then in the end, end with fucking hydroplanes. You know? <laughs> How's it going to work? The same thing with the planes. How are you going to upgrade the planes? What are they going to turn into? Because that's going to be insane. And also, let's hope they do flying right. Shit. Wrong button canvas. Good job. And then hit the wrong button again. Dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? Get your shit together. There you go. <laughs> So this summit qualifier is called from Berlin to DC. So I'm assuming it's German versus American cars, which means I'm expecting a lot of Porsches. Or roughs, I should say. But every time we get a challenge like this, it has a specific name, it's usually way off. We'll probably have, uh, you know, a bunch of all European cars thrown in. But who knows? I didn't make the game. I didn't give them the ideas. They do their own thing and we roll with it because we love this game, right? Let's drive Little Red. We haven't drive, driven Little Red in forever. How are you doing a burnout? You're a 4x4. Four four. Impressive.
Hot dog cart. <laughs> Yeah, that would suck, honestly, to run into a hot dog cart. That'd be Too much handbrake, canvas. Too much handbrake. That's what I get for playing a lot of Baja. Although what's weird is there's no Hummer in the uh, 4x4 class of the Baja Edge of Control game. Which I thought was really weird because the video they use for the Baja Edge of Control 4x4 class is a fucking series of Hummers. <laughs> The only Hummer that exists in Baja Edge of Control HD is a Hummer H1. And it's in the mini truck class, which is class 7s. Fast, not trophy truck fast, but fast, you know, 120 miles an hour, easy. 23 inches of suspension travel. And based off of, you know, the Ford Ranger, Chevy S10, that kind of stuff. Just little trucks. So why in the fuck is the Hummer H1 in that category? Because the Hummer H1 is huge. It's on the Suburban chassis. The Chevy Suburban was a massive SUV. I wouldn't say that's no mini truck, man. But who knows? There's got to be a reason behind it. I've never really looked into score and the reasonings behind their classes and what vehicles are restricted and why they're restricted. I just love watching the show. If you haven't watched the Baja, you need to. It's impressive. The racing is usually really intense. The 4x4 class is my favorite class of uh, Baja vehicles. Just because they're kind of the underdogs. 4x4 class can do anything you throw at them, pretty much. It may not go as fast as the other machines. But uh, they're pretty hard to stop. I was afraid of that. I thought it was too far to the left. Oh, oh. I was way off. I miscalculated everything. Normally I'd jump over the top of everything and land in there. But I did not do it this time. Too shabby. Not a little bit of RP.
A little bit of RP. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say it was a little bit. It was only... But it don't matter. My max rank. There's nothing else for me to gain. <laughs> Other than bragging rights. It starts with the Mercedes-Benz AMG circuit. I don't have one. Hmm. Oh well. Looks like we're starting with monsters. Open choice because there aren't any German monster trucks. But I'm the fuse, I'm letting go, I'm letting ready. Oh, what the hell, man? This shitty arena? Damn it, man. I swear, we never see the Michigan arena. It makes me mad, because the Michigan Arena is cool. This is in the fucking south. The New York Arena itself, you know, the East Coast Arena, is in the fucking woods. Why are we down here in the south on floating platforms and shit? Come on. It makes no sense. When we got a perfectly good setup in the forest. Dancing. That was pretty cool. Don't go too far. I've done that many a time where I go too far off of that jump. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. But I fucked up. So roll with it. Well, that's no good. That was not a very good score. I'll take it, but I'll come back to it later. Because I am not happy with that at all. It is not good. My fan isn't hitting me. That's even more not good. Stupid fan. Eh. Ow. I got my finger stuck. And the little handle on the back of the thing. Ah! 
That was such a bad run. I'm better than that. Space ran a 153. Oh man, he ran a really good time. Or it's a really short course, and he got lucky. All right, big fella, we got work to do. Let's get it done, BMW. If we don't set a good enough time in a BMW, we'll use an American car, but I'm gonna try the Beamer first. Recover! Quit spinning your tires! That tells me right there. <laughs> You're better off restarting. I cut the corner way too close. Crashed a couple of times. We need to go again. <laughs> If only you could do that in real life, right? Oh shit, I came in that corner too hot, crashed through the light pole. Reset. Keep cutting it to inside. Damn it! It's frustrating. I thought a BMW would be a good choice. It is not. It's having a really hard time. Or I'm having a really hard time, one of the two. It's probably me. I've been playing Baja Edge of Control so much lately, I might be confused. With the controls and the physics of things.
Now we got a fully repaired American car. Let's do it. And watch, I bet you I won't have a single hitch. It'd be funny if I blow fucking first corner and just end up eating shit. It would be great. <laughs> I hate myself so much. Super wide. What the hell? What was that? Why did that car get... Wow! That was a glitch and a half. Wrong button. Well, it wasn't really a button, but pushed too hard. I'm trying to shift. Ah, space beat me. I'm pretty sure space ran a 153. I think I just ran a 154. Oh no, 155, what? We crossed the line at 154. Son of a bitch. Well, that fucking sucks. Oh well. And a 14 on that. 14 second drag race. So whatever stage it is, is probably one of the quick ones. That probably has a huge corner in it, or a bunch of bumps. Or it could be the best drag strip in the game. This is my favorite one. It's a little bit of an uphill climb, but it's a very slight uphill, so you don't even notice it. I could do way better than that. That was pathetic. Much better.
But it still ran slower. Damn. Yeah, it's not fast enough. I get I can guarantee you I can get it in the 13s because I've done it before on this stage. It's a high 13, you know it's like 13.8 or 13.9. That was almost a 15. Damn. Oh well. Not today. Not today. But we did run a good time at least. One thing I'm terrible at. We'll try the Viper first, like always, and if the Viper doesn't work, we'll run the BMW, because the BMW always works. <laughs> this one should be a good one. This is a decent stage. Nice and open. But, with Candace not being good at drifting, and not really playing the crew, other than on Wednesdays lately, it might be nice. Nasty. Oh god. Yep, yeah, that was that was bad. Well shit. We're just gonna start over. <laughs> So don't go left. Can't believe I did that. But at the same time I can. Because for some reason I'm really, really tired. No! No! Damn it! No, it tells me the Viper is no good for this stage. At least right now. I bet you if I wasn't tired, it'd be better. If I had somebody to talk to, it'd probably be better too. Because right now I'm just talking to my fucking self. The Z4. Already off to an extremely better start. Extremely better. I think that's terrible. A um, much better start. <laughs> nope, that lost it.
Oh. Out of the way, Moose. Oh yeah, speaking of moose, this is funny. I came home from work today to my wife in the game room playing Far Cry Primal on my TV with her Xbox. <laughs> I'm just like, aww. You wanted to play Far Cry to big screen. <laughs> I thought it was great. It made me laugh. But she was hunting down the tall elk, which is pretty much a fucking moose. So that made him funnier. Hey, GT! I was just saying, I wish I had somebody to fucking talk to, man. How you doing? Welcome to broadcast. I love you. For being here. Unlike everybody else who hasn't shown up in days. <laughs> I'm really tired. Alright, let's hit the monster arena again and the time attack again, because those I did really bad on. Then we can move on to the skills. Yeah, just the skills. <laughs> Let's see if I can keep my flow going this time. That was my big problem with the last run I did. Did not keep my flow. Ugh. Excuse me. What the hell? What stopped me there? That was weird. Agreed. All right, guess we're going that way instead. I was trying to go over that little ramp, get an extra air time before I hit this ramp. Which I didn't go fast enough over. God damn it. <laughs> Canvas is a flop today. Uh, I'm doing terrible all the way around. What the hell was that? Oh my god. <laughs> you have no idea. 
that felt so weird. The controller didn't vibrate, nothing, but it behaved like it absolutely bottomed out and kicked up the front end. That was so stupid. <laughs> Me too, GT. I'm super geeked. Like I've said before, I'm buying the, uh, the gold edition all hundred dollars worth, man. pre-ordering it as soon as it's available for pre-order and not the digital version I don't do digital versions unless I absolutely have to Woo! or if the digital version is on sale I buy a lot of games on the Xbox marketplace that are on sale Fucking nailed the jump, missed the coin, and bounced off. Today is not a good day to be in the No! Oh, come on! Two hundred dollars you're spending, man. Well, like I said earlier in the broadcast, as soon as the betas up and running and I'm invited to it even though I was supposed to be part of the closed beta fucking months ago um, I'll be replacing Wild Run Wednesdays with it until the crew 2 comes out officially
Yay! I fell short. <laughs> I missed the game. Or you could just completely do the exact opposite of what I told you. That's cool. Stupid fucking monster truck! Yeah, that's a good tactic, GT. I wish I had two hundred dollars to just blow like that. <laughs> I went up six thousand six hundred and sixty six points from my last score. And hundred and seventy two places. That's funny. There's a lot of sixes involved. So those of you that have been with me for a long, for a long while, um, you know my goal when it comes to the summit stuff is just to beat space. <laughs> as long as I beat. Oh shit! That was weird. What the fuck? That was super weird. My headset just stopped working for a second. Um. So yeah, my standard my standard goal is to always beat space. So if space sets a decent score, that means my score is a little bit above. I know it's terrible. I love space to death, but he's my he's my benchmark for how not to suck, usually. What was what music? You heard music? Oh dear. That's weird. What did it sound like? Fuck, the truck's too heavy, understeer. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know, but because I'm not listening to Wii Sports, I am listening to Loudness by Max Enforcer. Hard style hits. Hard style bombs. Number three, sorry, not hard style hits. So whatever you heard probably wasn't for me. I fuck it, see. I listen to all sorts of shit when I'm gaming.
Silverado was not a good choice for this race. It is too fucking heavy. Although we ran almost the exact same time as we did with the fucking Charger. Uh-oh. Nothing important. It's all for them. Damn. Ah. Still didn't beat space. I'll have to run the event one more time. The fuck off my computer, man. I wish I knew where these bugs were coming from. It's killing me. Let's try the vet. They're like... They look like fruit flies. But they're not fruit flies because they're too damn big to be fruit flies. And then I got these other bugs that keep showing up that look like little fucking hearts. But when you touch them, they disintegrate like moths. And I can't find the source of where these bugs are coming from. And it's pissing me off. Oh, what are you doing there? No, you ruined my flow. You stupid SUV whore. Oh god, my front end's all fucked up. <laughs> yes! I beat space. <laughs> we can move on to our skills. The things I do for love. Coach Carthy Doc. Yes! Nah, I can't really do his voice. Never could.
run that again because I missed a few I think I think I missed two but I didn't catch it That seemed like a better run. Yeah, it was. Way better. Alright. Let's get out of the way in case somebody spawns into existence doing the skill. I'd suck if I was in their way. So there's a slalom skill. What's our next skill? An escape. You've been invited to a chase. The chase has already ended. Oh, this one. I forgot how to do this one. It was like this. No, it wasn't. Because that leaps you back around. It's right here. No, it's not. I can't remember! to lead the way. There it is. It's a long jump. Way out of the ways.
that tree. <laughs> Well, shit. Yay. <laughs> That's such a mild jump. Alrighty. So that's that for skills and summit stuff. Other than uh, our free drive stunts. Which I don't necessarily think we have to do. I don't like doing my stunts and stuff unless I got my friends with me. I don't have any friends with me right now. So we'll move on to the crates. And that's our first one. Alright, that race is set. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick and grab myself something to drink. Be right back.
Oh look, a sign of life from somebody other than GT. What's going on, Pooh? How you doing, buddy? Welcome to broadcast, man. That took a little longer than I anticipated. I apologize. One of my roommates is out walking around. Like, what the fuck you doing? Wait, canvas. Uh... <laughs> so here we are. We're back. Ready to race. Let's go. Uh. So what's going on, Pooh? How you doing, man? You've been absent for a couple of days, or you've been silent for a couple of days, either one. It doesn't matter. I'm glad to finally have some viewers that are willing participants and talking, that is. Because I'm pretty sure I've had viewers the last couple of weeks who haven't said much. Which is really depressing. Keep thinking I'm playing Baja. In Baja, you press the left bumper to engage the clutch to make your shifts. And I keep doing that on the crew. And in the crew, it gives you the look behind camera. <laughs> Bear. Do they have bears in Maine? Why is that? Like, is he officially homosexual, or is he just pissing you off? I mean, because either way, it, it's all right. You can call him whatever you want on my channel. I'm not going to give two shits. Just uh, be careful. There might be some other people that find that offensive, boo. Gotcha. That's what both my siblings do too, man. I'm the middle child. I have a younger brother and an older brother. My older brother got treated like a fucking king. Everything he did was perfect no matter what he did. and He was great and everybody loved him and everybody was happy and proud of him and all that shit. My little brother gets babied like nobody's business because he's the last of the Stevens bloodline which I am perfectly fine with. But, then there's me, who's gotten absolute dick from the rest of the family. The rest of the family hasn't offered to help me. They haven't done anything of convenience. In case you're wondering, my last name is Stevens. But that's all you're getting. You don't need to know my whole name. It's not important. Just know me as Canvas. So, yeah. Siblings aren't meant to be your best friends, boo. They're supposed to be your best friends and worst enemies at the same time. Which is hard to explain. 
but that's just brothers for you. Well, looks like we're taking the railroad track. <laughs> Let me get back on the road as quick as I can here, though. There we go. Hey, look, pumpkins. Hey, see, we're in the same boat. So I know exactly how you feel, man. So even though this is an asphalt crate, we're going to run it in the charger because this thing needs some more upgrades. And right now it's at 1329. It needs to be 14. 1497, man. Then I could do it just by going to the garage and buying upgrades, but where's the fun in that? I'd rather earn random upgrades and see what kind of performance it gives the vehicle. And then tweak it as I see fit. hitting that car. <laughs> That's alright, Pooh. I knew what you meant. I mean, it's not important. This race isn't, <laughs> you know, a, a life or death gonna guarantee me an incredible position anywhere. This is just a race to a fucking crate. But it's still frustrating when I make little mistakes. Because I know I'm better than that. Discord's been busy. Excuse me. Ah, nothing spectacular. Okay. <laughs> the platinum crate is blue. Yeah, that was me, man. 
my life was pretty much the same way, Pooh. And no, I don't use a face cam. The reason why I don't use a face cam is the lighting in my game room is absolute shit. As in, there's no lighting at all. I have no lights. <laughs> so it wouldn't work. And on top of that, I don't have any padding to, you know, decrease noise and all that stuff. And I don't have anything to reflect the light. And, uh, oh god. I'm kind of a low-budget operation, if that makes sense. Unfortunately, because of that low-budget operation, my internet quality is kind of... I would happily use a face cam if I had the means to use a face cam. That was worth it. But if you want to know what I look like... Davis... I... Davis Panish? <laughs> I think that's how you say your name. If you want to know what it looked like, just look at the picture. The picture up above on my channel. That's me. Dressed in a costume of the Punisher. Because I fucking love that guy. Welcome to the broadcast, my friend. How you doing tonight? Ah, fuck. Gotta turn around. Ooh. Alright, the GPS said I need to turn around, and I turned around, and that's telling me to turn around again. So, the GPS is confused? Ah, there we go. <laughs> you don't use face cam because you're ugly? That's terrible! I mean, I'll admit, I ain't the most handsome guy in the world, but, oh, fuck. I ain't ashamed. Push through, Charger, push through. I ain't ashamed of how I look. Oh, and another thing is, I don't wear a shirt, and Twitch kind of frowns on that. I never wear a shirt when I broadcast. It's usually too fucking hot in here. What's that from, Pooh? I don't recognize it. Oh, God! Ah! <laughs> Alright, the cops are on a roll tonight, man. They are not pulling any punches. Ugh. Makes for a much more interesting chase. Although I hate it when they pin me. Because when they pin me, that pisses me off. What the hell, Pooh? Ooh. Oh, I'm going into the water. <laughs> That sucked. I'm glad we didn't get arrested for it, though. The steering's all fucked up. No, don't do it! not giving up today. It's the shit right there that pisses me off more than anything. How the fuck? What? No! <laughs> Go faster. <laughs> this is a mess. I love it when the police go hard, I really do, but man, does it make me worry. Because I don't like failing. Failing upsets me. You know, I don't even know why I do these crates anymore, to be honest. 
I don't get anything from them because I have all the cars in the game. I just get money. The only way I'd get cars is if I played as the police. And I like playing as the police because the police are OP as fuck. As you can see, I got a teammate right now. If he wanted to, all he's got to do is hold the B button. He can fast travel onto my backside and be right up on my tailpipe. The cops, if you're playing as a police vehicle, can do the exact same thing, making it virtually impossible to get away. I spend a lot of my time out driving them, which is great, but as soon as I get out of their reach, they just hold the B button in the back of my ass. It's not fun. I don't know what Ubisoft was thinking when they came up with that design. And I don't know what I was thinking right there. I could have just drove straight through the fucking center. But that's kind of dumb. They should just give this, the police vehicles superior performance. <laughs> you shouldn't. You're only a fairy if you let yourself be a failure, man. My grandfather told me to kill myself on multiple occasions. So don't feel bad. <laughs> My uncle thought that I was just going to end up like him in jail all the time or in and out of prison. That never happened. I've only been to jail once. So yeah, Pooh, I understand entirely where you're coming from, bud. It's not fun. It's hurtful. And it makes you sad. But you ignore it. You brush it off and you move on. This motherfucker just got a free crate. Oh shit. The guy that was oh, almost a mile away. He wasn't even helping me. He was just there. Evil chubs. <laughs> Interesting name. find a gold crate is right here at the border between the east coast and the south look at that it's another asphalt run a yeah, decent distance not too bad I'm gonna make for a nice race um, we'll do it in a street spec vehicle because you know we're not gonna be spending a whole lot of time on the freeway from the looks of it <sighs> Although the chase might spend a lot of time on the freeway, which would suck, which means we'll be suffering in speed. But eh, I'm good enough to where I don't have to worry about it, right? Question is, which street vehicle? Let's use a Dodge Ram. I don't use this thing enough. this truck to death. I mean, who doesn't want a V10 powered pickup truck? Right? Not to mention a high performance V10.
Me. Well, that I can't really say much on. I don't know my real dad either, but but not because mine was behind bars or anything like that, but because I'm adopted. I have no idea who my real dad is. I was raised by a man who I wouldn't want to be raised by anybody else. But, yeah. So I can't really give my input on that one for you. I'm sorry. Even though my, my dad wasn't the happiest with me, he was usually a little more supportive than my mom. But I was still never good enough, no matter what. Maybe because he was behind bars, you're better off not knowing the guy. I know it hurts, but you'll never know your real dad. Because, I mean, I never knew my real dad. But chances are, if I don't know my real dad, it's for a good reason. <laughs> That's the bright side of it, at least. That's how I look at it. More than I got, Pooh. gonna crash anyways. <laughs> Those two cars were about to sideswipe each other. I don't know how it would work because I've never seen a crew crash happen before. I thought we weren't gonna be spending a lot of time on the freeway. According to the fucking GPS route I seen when I was loading the race, we were gonna spend most of our time on back roads. Why the fuck are we on the freeway? Stupid ass game lying to me and shit. Right on through. Ah, <laughs> not right on through. So much traffic. There's a lot of traffic right here. Squeeze on through. <laughs> I love how there's so little detail. There's so little detail put into the civilian vehicles. It's funny as shit. Some generic ass looking 
garbage mobile. Look at all them buses. Woo! Ah! Uh, yeah! Okay, this is getting sideways. Woohoo! Nothing to be excited about. Drifting is such a waste of speed. Let's do, 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 do. Just sliding around like an idiot. Forty-two is the answers to life, love, and everything else in the universe. <laughs> A lot of you guys probably won't get that reference, but that's okay. Hey. That's no good. You don't want that to happen. You gotta prove to your brother or sibling, whatever one be a brother or a sister. Almost a daughter. <laughs> Sorry, man. That you're not the bad guy. Or if you can you need to move out. To avoid any problems. See with me, I didn't have a choice. From age 16 to 22, I was homeless. It started in the first couple of years, I actually, I jumped from house to house to house of friends and whatnot, which was great, that was fine. And then my friends ran out after I couldn't stick with them anymore for one reason or another. I ended up spending a lot of time at homeless shelters, wandering the streets of Ypsilanti and Ann Arbor and Whitmore Lake and... All sorts of places all around where I live. Whitmore Lake, by the way, is almost an hour away from where I, uh, where I grew up. But, uh, I spent most of my time just trying to get my life in order, trying to find a job, a house, something that I could do to make my life worthwhile. Around age 18, I managed to find another friend who I got to stay with for a little while who had access to a computer. I got a mediocre job working at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> Lasted for a little while, all of uh, three months. So I had enough money to, to rent out a place for a little bit. And I ended up contacting my future wife. Met her on the computer. She was a girl that I had a huge crush on throughout high school. I wanted to get to know her, all that jazz, you know. And then when I finally found her again on the internet, I'm like, okay, I'm going to bug this bitch until she's mine. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened. So I met her, started dating her, hung out with her, got to know her. I ended up living with her for a little while. And I decided we were going to marry. Eight and a half years later, we're still married. happy. We 
have a home that we rent for very, very cheap, and we both have jobs. She has a much better job than me, but, you know, my job is stable enough for a guy with my fucked up background. Because I didn't, I forgot to mention it, but, uh, I went to jail. So, yeah. That was before I married my wife, by the way. So, my advice to you, Pooh, is you need to get out of there if your family's treating you that poorly before they get rid of you themselves. Because usually, what I noticed with the way I was being treated, a lot of young folk that were being treated like that were kicked out at a very young age. So, who knows? Maybe you can get lucky and get out of there. Maybe you can't. I hope you can. Or, I hope your family can change their ways. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm being chased by a human. There's a human cop on my ass. Eh. Nah. If you want a deep story, I can tell you about how me and my wife actually decided to get married. That's different. That's deep. What I just gave you there is my life story. <laughs> it's not that it's not that spectacular, but There's no getting away from that. In the middle of a fucking forest. Surrounded by police. With a V10 powered street truck. <laughs> I was just spinning my tires, man. I wasn't going anywhere. That was bad. Make it louder. Hey, look at a sailboat. Check that out. Why is it sailing so stupid, though? Oop, wait, I forgot. It's not a living camera. What? Where'd it go? It is. Sailboats don't work like that. <laughs> Weird. Alright, let's give this crate another shot, shall we? Yeah, I thought that too, but... I thought that my family would never change either. 
and surprise, it happened. <clears throat> Fuck. Make it louder. I don't have any talents either, man. The only thing that I'm remotely good at is mechanical stuff. I used to be an ASE certified mechanic. It was a temporary license, but, you know, that's what happens when you can't go to school because you can't afford it. Even though I should have been able to afford it because I didn't have an actual dad. I had a grant called the Pell Grant, which allows me to have pretty much a free ride to community college. But I fought and fought and fought with the college to get in, and they never got me in. And they denied my grant twice. So I just gave up. <laughs> it's a terrible thing to do, to give up like that, but I'm not going to sit there and fight with the system that doesn't want me to be a part of it. So that's some advice for you. If you can get into college, fucking do it. It'll help you in the future. I can promise you that much. Oh, shit. There's grants and stuff that you can search out, bud, that'll help you. I guarantee it. You probably won't get a Pell Grant, which is the free ride that I was talking about, but you will get some major discounts. You just gotta talk to the right people. Damn it. I can't pause either. But my buddy Space and Aloysius got online, and I, I invited Space to the party, but I haven't invited Aloysius to the party, and they're not fucking joining. Boring crate run. Oh man. Now that this is hiding off line with me, you don't want to be bothered. And space got on and got off. Motorcyclist. Well, all right, we are in the south now. There's our platinum grate right there. Set a waypoint, and get another race going. What vehicle should we use, Pooh? What do you think? Twelve miles and looks like it's mostly on smooth roads, which sucks because I like the more extreme races. Oops. I was asking you what vehicle we should use for this next crack run. It's an asphalt run, and it looks like it's going to be pretty smooth.
dozens, dozens of muscle cars, man. I would rather have a garage full of muscle cars and big ass trucks than a garage full of hyper and supercars. I got the Dodge Charger, Dodge Challenger, Hellcat, the Chevy Camaro. Um, they're all in every different spec. I do have a couple of Mustangs, but they're not upgraded, so they're not worth using. And I don't like Fords. Fords suck in this game. Um, I don't think I have the modern Charger. No, I do. I do have the modern charger. What class? Street, dirt, perf, circuit. I won't use rate on this because it's going to be an on-road race. It's going to be dumb. We just oh oh street muscle car. All right, I am going to use my Camaro then. looks like a Pontiac Trans Am, by the way. <laughs> I made it look like that as, to the best of my abilities, because unfortunately no Pontiacs exist in this game. This is at the time when Pontiac was gone. I mean, technically they're still gone, but you can still get parts for them. Ta-da! 1969 Chevy Camaro. RS. Thought something was wrong. bit dinged up now but yeah it's a good vehicle looks great handles great I want to look Shit. Surprised we didn't wreck from that. We're going fast as fuck. This is what it looks like on the interior. I can only do this for a little bit, though. <clears throat> Close one eye usually helps. Got pretty cool interior gauges. Not the greatest, but ooh, remotely accurate. <clears throat> Everything else on the inside is almost 100% accurate, though. All right, I can't do it anymore. Sorry. <coughs> Whew, we're good. 
I missed a turn somewhere. Oh, God. Ah, uh, nailed that, Rado. <laughs> Look at all these barrels. I want to eat them. Oops. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably a smart decision. But, gotta be careful either way. Girls are tricky. I went through dozens of girlfriends before I met my wife. Went through dozens of girls while I was trying to get with my wife, too. When I first met her and I first wanted to get to know her, I was already in a relationship and that lasted, you know, two months. <laughs> that relationship ended faster than shit. And then I got into another relationship, which was confusing as fuck, because she had a boyfriend and the boyfriend never around, never took care of her, so I ended up doing all the work for her. She ended up, you know, wanting to be with me. That was a mess and a half. And then a lot of, you know, temporary dates to just pass the time. To cure the loneliness. Scratch that, you know, special itch. Um, but all the while I was trying to chase my future wife. Because none of them were as exciting <coughs> or intriguing to me. So take your time. Don't rush in. Explore your options. Do I encourage you be, you know, oh, what's the word? I can't think of the word right now. But there's a word to describe it. I got nothing. But you know what I'm trying to say. At least I hope you do. So let's look at this thing before it gets all smashed up. But there you go. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god, I gotta get on the highway. <laughs> Fucking GPS, man. Oh! What the hell? You just head on right with me. Whose fault is that? <laughs> oh my god, GPS, make up your fucking mind. I'm so confused. Uh, although with as much time as I spent playing this fucking game, I should know my way around the streets better. Ah, it didn't work. Yay! 
We're good. Oh, uh, shit. I'm on the wrong side of the freeway with at least four police officers behind me. Call me the pinball wizard. No, they don't. I'm terrible at pinball, but I love pinball. I'm just really bad at it. Save it! Come on! Oh my god. That was bad. What the? Fuck you, hunger guardrail. Today is not your day to feed. Damn it! What the? <laughs> how did, wait, how did he not die? Oh, that's fucking lame. I love how they think shutting my brakes off is gonna cause a problem. It doesn't. Unless I'm in really windy ass roads. Oh no! Not another human police officer. Oh. God fucking damn it. I can't get away from whatever he's driving. It's faster than me by a long shot. It's so fucking lame. Damn it, man. I fucking hate human police officers. It's so unfair. Maintaining a solid 
Solid visual on the target. Reach it loud and clear. I'm gonna go down to this and it's gonna say it doesn't need repairs. What did I say? It doesn't need repairs. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh
Port Arthur Refinery Gate. Let's try something real quick. I don't think it's going to work, but I haven't tried it in a long time with a lot of things. That's what I thought. The bollards have an invisible barrier between them. Yeah, well. It's gonna be fun to get on that ship. Hang on the ship. Drive right around on top. Oh, and <laughs> all right. Not full in. It's an endman. We gotta find our next crate. So many. North of the South. <laughs> Old kind of funny to me. song sounds insane. <laughs> derb. It's called Derb. <laughs> Not derp. Derb. <laughs> it's funny. It's heavy. Nice heavy bass, break beats, all that jazz. I wish I could share my music with you guys, man. It makes me so mad that I can't because of YouTube's copyright bullshit. <laughs> Although it's nowhere near as bad as the adpocalypse that's going on, as they keep calling it. I don't make money for my YouTube channel. I refuse to monetize any of my shit because I know better. I'm not going to get squat from it because I don't have... You know... I don't have any editing skills. I don't have any... Oh, damn it crazy badass videos. Oh, fuck, I got the hiccups. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah. Because I don't have any of that shit, I, did. I just leave my channel raw. Excuse me, I got the hiccups. Hold on a sec. That helped. I don't remember what I was saying now, though. Whoa! Get your tail, get your fucking tail under control. We were talking about YouTube and how I refuse to monetize my shit because I won't get paid for it. That's what I was talking about. 
So yeah, a lot of my favorite YouTubers. I like anime. My wife likes anime. So we watch anime every now and then. There's a lot of anime YouTubers. Lost Paws, The Anime Man, Aki Dearest, Ruster Wolf, that kind of stuff. We enjoy watching those videos because it gives us ideas of new stuff to watch together. Since we don't really have time to go out to the movies or anything like that, and we don't have a TV service, we use Netflix and Crunchyroll. The three that I just listed off are getting hit so hard right now that they are losing thousands of dollars a day. That's their livelihood, man. That's how these people survive, by making their videos and shit. And then there's some of my favorite just random ass videos where there's a bunch of compilations of funny shit happening. Huh? Gifts and sound and fucking cracks and all that jazz. I love watching that stuff. That's how I pass the time when I'm not broadcasting if I'm not playing a game. They're getting hit. So if you got it in you, you know, get, get on YouTube and find some of these view, uh, these YouTubers that are getting hit by this. And I uh, give them some support. You know, I'm not telling you to go out there and pay them. That's just not going to happen. I wouldn't expect anybody to do that just because I told them to. But give them the watches. Give them the views. Give them the thumbs. And just give them the support they need to keep the channels afloat. Because without YouTube, I don't really have a whole lot to watch. As I'm sure some of you others don't. The amount of people that use YouTube is staggering. So it only makes sense to try and keep it afloat. Maybe YouTube will get the fucking act together. And uh, fix what they're doing wrong. Yeah, I think I only have like 50 some subscribers, but I have 700 videos. 700 some odd videos. And between all those videos, I have maybe, maybe 200 views. <laughs> I've had people actually watching the videos. I have double digit thousands. You know, I have like 11,000 people who just stopped by the channel to look at it. Anything. So I know damn well not to monetize my videos because it just I won't get squat. Which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't do this for the money. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I broadcast Twitch because I fucking love video games. And I love hanging out with people who share the same interest. The money that comes from it's just a benefit. And I don't even make that much money. As a matter of fact, I haven't made any. I've got donations from you guys that I put immediately back into the channel and bought shit for you. I even bought shit to give away to you guys. Although a lot of you guys kind of didn't show up for that, which was super depressing. That's why I haven't done one lately. I ain't got nothing to give away. And the last time I did it, nobody showed up. Anyways, enough ranting and raving. Let's focus on the game, shall we? Oh, shit! This challenger's ass is too loose. I don't like that. It's annoying. time.
Not a bad run. Could have been better. All right, I had a message. I apologize for that. Yeah. Let's go. Cool, we're going the right way for once. that was coming as soon as I started to steer how convenient for them I crashed into a pole oh I'm arrested I am so arrested <laughs> that was pathetic There's a freak in me, and that's how I want to be. I should have slid it. I would have went lost the speed, but it wouldn't have crashed into the fucking wall. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that? That was a mess. In me, as the world wants to see, there's a freak in me, and that's who I wanna be. Go fast, go hard, cause ecstasy knows this is hard style, and you know how it goes. This is a fun song. Let's go hard, cause ecstasy knows this is hard style, and you know how it goes. <laughs> I love that heavy bass, bass shit. I didn't really like techno music growing up. I've always been a rock and roll and heavy metal kind of guy. But I started listening to rock and roll and heavy metal mixed with electronic elements. And then progressively more and more aggressive rock elements started appearing in some of the music I was listening to until I found an artist known as Zardonic. I've talked about Zardonic before, and he is amazing. He loves his fans, and he loves his work, and he does some of the coolest shit imaginable. He combines the world of heavy metal, drum and bass, and hard style into one ball of awesome. <laughs> his music is exciting and powerful. And for a guy like myself who doesn't even know how to dance, it makes me want to dance. If you're into that kind of heavy-ass shit, give him a listen. And then when you're done listening to him, go listen to Cell Dweller. Cell Dweller is more rock and roll than electronic, but he's one of my best friends. How many, how many artists can you say that about? What 
the hell? What are you doing, AI? <laughs> Hi, I can't turn, can't turn, can't turn. Uh, I'm too fat. I love how they think that's going to help. Our turnoff point was that road back there, and he just smashed me right past it. So now I have to compensate and go the other way. <laughs> Hitting the person who's carrying the crate does not help unless I am pinned between the police. Go hard, cause XC knows this is hard style, and you know how it goes. <laughs> uh, it's kind of what it reminds me of, man. It's like explosions and shit. It's always fun. And I never really thought I was gonna like it. But hard style is a very fun da dance music. Well. Eh. Shit. I think... Yeah. I think I'm gonna call it quits here. I know we still got like 30 minutes left in the broadcast and whatnot, but... I'm not feeling all that excited. I mean, that last run was pretty good. But the run where I was being chased by that cop that was human really pissed me off. But there's no surprise with that one. As I said, the uh, the police vehicles are now just OP as fuck. I think it's a term people use, right? Because uh, the only thing I'm going to be doing for the rest of the night is what I've already been doing. I'm going to be doing crate runs back and forth. I make a race, run to the crate, drop it off. I would go back to the summit and do those things over again, but I don't need to because I'm already cemented towards the top of the leaderboards for those events. And I don't do the PvP because the PvP is a waste of my fucking time. I have no patience for people because most people don't know how to race. And it drives me nuts. So there you have it. I do not know if I'll be here tomorrow. I cannot make any promises of I'm not going to be here or I might be here. Just be prepared for me to not be here. Okay? As I've told you last week, I am a part of a Discord server that is doing a RPG game. We're playing Savage Lands or Savage World, which is a lot of fun so far. But their timing is terrible. They want to start at 8.30? No. Yeah, they want to start at 8.30, my time. And the campaign last week didn't end till... 2-something? Two, 2 in the morning? <laughs> and I didn't even do anything. I was pissed. I joined the campaign, and I got there, and I listened to them banter back and forth and go through their little stages and stuff, and then they came and picked my character up at the junkyard where I was living at. And that took me back to the ship.
And I stayed on the ship the rest of the campaign, trying to fix a car without proper tools. It was not fun. So anyways, I may not see you tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you whenever I do get back online, though. So thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you as soon as possible. Till next time, have a good one.